everybody. So in this video, we are going to fill out these key characteristics for this polynomial function. So here they ask us for the domain and the range. So for domain, you want to think, does this graph go forever to the left and to the right? And in this example, it does. So there are no vertical asymptotes here, which would stop the function from going to the left or the right. So because it goes forever, then for our notation, we're going to say that this goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, for the range, you want to ask yourself, does this function go forever down and forever up? So anytime you're doing interval notation with uh, domain and range, domain, you always want to think left to right, and then range, you want to think bottom to top. So from the bottom to the top, because this graph goes forever down and forever up, we're going to say the same thing as the domain. So this will be negative infinity to positive infinity. Now here it says relative max and mins. If there are multiple, separate them using a comma, and they gave us the notation to use here. So there's really only one minimum and one maximum here, so we're not gonna really have to separate anything. Uh, for the maximum, a maximum is anywhere you see a heel like this, all right? This would be our maximum. Now, because this is an embedded Desmos image, we can actually click on this, and we can find our maximum here. Now, notice in this question, it says round to the nearest hundredth. So right here, this is actually going to be 1.16. And here, so we have 1.16. And our y value will be 5.16. That's our maximum. The relative minimum will come and we'll click here. Now, a minimum, you need to think like a valley. All right, a low point on the graph. So again, we're rounding to the hundredth. So this is going to be negative 1.16. And that will be negative 7.16. So that's our relative minimum. Here it says join multiple intervals using the union symbol. Okay, so an increasing interval. An increasing interval is, imagine you're tracing this graph with your finger or your mouse. Anywhere your mouse is going down is a decreasing interval, and anywhere your mouse is moving up is an increasing interval. So the only place where my mouse goes up is right here. Now, the one thing you want to pay attention to intervals, these are only x values. So I only care about the x value of this point and the x value of this point. We are not going to include any y values. So my increasing interval here is going to be from negative 1.16 to positive 1.16. That's my increasing interval. Decreasing interval. Here we're going to have two because we start here on the far left, my mouse is coming down on this point. So here, because we're assuming this is every value to the left here, we're going to start this interval at negative infinity. And this graph stops coming down at this x value. So that'll be negative 1.16. So that's my first decreasing interval. We notice that the graph is also coming down right here. So the way we join two or multiple intervals is the union symbol. So what I'm going to do is hit capital U. And then I'm going to start my next interval. So here it starts going down at this x value and then it goes down forever. So I don't need this anymore. This x value is 1.16. And it will decrease forever. So we will keep that at negative, or excuse me, at positive infinity. Really, when you're talking about your um, domain and range and intervals right here, negative infinity just means forever to the left, and then positive infinity just means forever to the right. So it's going down forever. All right, in behavior, as x approaches positive infinity, so that means start at the origin, look to the right of the graph, is my function going up or is it going down? And here my function's going down, so that means it's approaching negative infinity. And then as I 
As x approaches negative infinity, so I start at the origin and look to the left, is my function going up or down? And my function when I look to the left is going up here, so that's going to approach positive infinity. And that should be it. That should be all. All right, and that is it. We've got them all right. So if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.